Chelsea fans, don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. I am begging you, please don't fall for it. This has no bearing on the CL final. 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 Was it good out of the way? Good. Deserved. Deserved. I want to be objective. I want to be real. I think that was a penalty. I want to be fully objective because when I first saw it, I was like, nah. You see it again? Zuma was all over the... He was, I mean, because you saw Zuma, because Zuma panicked, because he messed up with the control, and he's, at the last moment, you just see him move, boom, Aguero. <laughs> Whenever a Pananka doesn't come off, it looks really bad. Whenever you miss a Pananka, it looks really bad. But I think City, I thought, again, it was a city beach team, but by the time they brought on Gundogan and um, Foden, it was pretty much their first team, apart from De Bruyne, really. So really, De Bruyne was the only guy that was missing by the time everything ended. Um, but Chelsea played well. Although Chelsea didn't have your <laughs> your boy Mount Kilimanjaro up in that piece, man. Um, but Chelsea deserved. Because the longer the game went on, the stronger Chelsea became. And Chelsea should have been out of sight already. They should be out of sight. And I think, tactically, you just saw how they became stronger. But see, and this is what I didn't want. Because this is the worst thing. Because I don't want Chelsea to have a false sense of superiority. Here. But I'm just, just dealing with this game. Well played. Supremely well played. The Yech getting injured. That was a beautiful, wonderful G. And I think the Ziyech is slowly now um, com coming in, into his own. And when you just look in at that um, goal that was, that, was, that was scored, it just showed you why Werner is important. Homeboy is speedy. Goal. Absolutely. He's the Caucasian Usain Bolt. The Caucasian Usain Bolt. That guy's speed makes things happen. And I think based on the work that Chelsea had, how well they controlled the game, specifically in the second half. How much they dictated the narrative when the second half came. They deserve that win. And that win is huge. Because for me, I was already thinking that, okay, a loss and a draw, boom. But the fact that Chelsea are now in, in, in flipping third. So this now makes it very difficult and complicated for Liverpool right now. Tottenham already are, are out of it. So right now, it's pretty much Liverpool and West Ham who are now maybe trying to follow into Leicester City. So this win completely changed the dynamic. Totally changes the, the dynamic for Chelsea with regards to top four right now. So you just expect them just really two wins, two wins, and top four is secure. So superb victory, huge victory, but I'm now scared. Now I'm scared because I don't want Chelsea fans to now view that and say, oh, twice, beat them twice now and so forth. So therefore, CL final. No, no, no. Say, I don't like this. I don't like this. Let me please, let me repeat this to you. Champions final is different. It's different. It's a Champions League final. Sterling won't be starting. Ferran Torres won't be freaking starting. And De Bruyne is huge. De Bruyne is arguably like the best attacking player. And Foden and Gunnar Hanno was not starting. So look, all that I care about, the only thing I care about is 3-3 three, three points. So please, please, just secure Champions League football next season because I can't do... Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't do that. Please, I can't do that. So just secure this. But this, nothing, has nothing to do with the Champions because it's going to be a completely different game. Because of the freaking CL final, the biggest game in club football. Probably game, who cares? CL final is the biggest game in club football, so it'll be totally different. But all I'm saying is that this team looks good. This team looks good. Your boy Billy Gilmore said, What's up? That defense is looking tight. Zoom, uh, but that defense is looking tight and strong, man. Um, even when Hudson Odoi came on, he looks very impressive as, as well. Um, Pulisic, bro, we're now seeing the sick. The sick is coming back. You see, we, we saw Pulisic for a lot this season. But now towards the end of the season, we're now seeing this the sick. The sick is saying what's up. The Vroom is saying what's up. The edge lived. The edge lived. You know, and even Lonzo. Lonzo got the finger so kill for Lonzo. But guys, huge win, massive win. Totally building something, man. Imagine if Chelsea still had Frankie Homeboy. But I need to end this and that. I'm begging him, please, please, please. This doesn't mean anything. And for Man City and Pep, they know that boom. This is the best thing that could happen to Man City. They now know, oh. It's on. We now have to go back to the drawing board and come May 29th, City are going to come with a totally different game plan because they have to. Two losses, it's going to be a very different approach that City are going to have because now they can now take these losses and now learn from them. So guys, May 29th will be different, but boom! Chelsea, huge win, fully deserved for the kids. Like the video, subscribe.